Hey everyone. So today I have another UCR alumni to hang out with me. His name is Hector. Hey everyone. Um, I was like, okay, I don't know what I want to do. So I went in undeclared. In my mind, I was like, I want to be an inventor. And I didn't really know what that was. So like my second year, I declared my major computer science. I actually ran into some academic difficulty. I never actually studied. <laughs> Ended up doing a year at ELAC the East Los Angeles Community College, get it to a point where I could get back into UCR. What were you experiencing right before you had to leave UCR? I was like, I don't know what to do. So like, I actually didn't tell my mom that I was like kicked out of UCR. The summer was almost over and um, she was like, oh, so we haven't gotten any letters from the college. When are you, when are you going back? My mom was a huge driving force. She's like, no, you need your education. It's like, this is how like we get ahead as people. It's like, you need to get your education. You need to get a good job. She's like, I don't have any money. I can't give you an inheritance. <laughs> she gave me that push of like, I've got your back and I don't know what you need to do, but you need to go out and do it. What have been some of your experiences um, <laughs> being queer in the tech space? I assume that everybody knows I'm gay. So I just talked about like, oh, this is my husband, like more matter of fact. And it does sometimes surprise people just cause like I'm a bear and I'm like a very uh, straight passing sometimes. At Google, there were the gayglers. Um, the gayglers <laughs> are the gay Googlers. <laughs> I actually found my home more within Ola, which is a Hispanic Googler network. And I ended up creating the, the Ola chapter at the Google LA office because the, when I started, the only brown people I saw were the people working in the micro kitchen. The only black people I saw were the security guards. So I really felt out of place, especially given that LA is such a diverse city. Wow. Part of like when I was working with Ola, I would do student tours. So we'd bring in students from different college campuses and we'd show them around our campus and talk about how to get into Google. Several times I actually had like some students come up to me and were like, hey, you know, I never would have applied to Google because they're like, it's Google. But like you've made it seem like a place that I can actually apply to. A lot of times, like if you don't see someone who looks like you there, it's like, do I belong here? So the current place that you're working at now, which isn't Google, correct? Correct. A small company right now called Dave. Basically, our mission is to help people achieve financial literacy. You da they download the app, they connect their bank account to it, and then you can look at um, when the person is going to be paid. And we can actually give them an advance, so like to help them avoid bank overage fees. Because I've been there. <laughs> like when I first graduated, like right after UCR, it took me like six months to find a job. But like Dave's mission and like core product really resonated with me. I was like, yes, I felt the burn of banks kicking you when you're down. It's like great company, great culture. I'm a social person. So like working from home has not been awesome for me. Oh no. <laughs> That's Hector, everyone. Odin85, pretty much everywhere. So Twitter, Instagram, Odin is O-D-D-I-N-8-5. See you later. Oh, thanks. Bye.